Unfortunately, extracting requirements from these sources is not a straightforward task, as there are many issues involved with the requirements elicitation. One first problem is the thin spread of domain knowledge. Knowledge is rarely available in an explicit form, that is, it is almost never written down. Moreover, knowledge is often distributed across many sources. For example, in the graphical depiction here, to find out that this is the purpose of the project, the developer, the analyst, needs to talk to a lot of different people. And to make things even worse, there are often conflicts between the knowledge gathered from different sources. A second issue is the fact that the knowledge is often tacit what is also called the say-do problem. In the example shown here, for instance, we have a customer that is describing to an analyst the way in which he accomplishes a task. So it performs these three steps and reaches the goal. Whereas in practice, the actual way in which this task is accomplished is by going through a larger number of steps to get to the same goal. So the point here is that even if the knowledge were more concentrated, so not as spread as in this example, people simply find it hard to describe knowledge that they regularly use. So it is hard to make this knowledge explicit, to pass this knowledge to someone else. Yet another problem is limited observability. Identifying requirements through observation is often difficult, as the problem owners might be too busy to perform the task that we need to observe, or they might be doing a lot of other things together with the task that we need to observe. So that becomes confusing. That introduces is noise. Moreover, even when this is not the case, the presence of an observer might change the problem. It is very typical for human subjects to improve or modify an aspect of their behavior, which is being experimentally measured, in response to the fact that they know that they're being studied. You know that somebody is studying you, and you change the way in which you behave. A typical issue. Finally, the information that we collect might be biased for several reasons. People might not feel free to tell you what you need to know or people might not want to tell you what you need to know. For example, in all the common cases in which the outcome might affect them, people might provide you a different picture from the real one in order to influence you. So they might have a hidden agenda and mislead you, either consciously or unconsciously. So all these issues add to the complexity of collecting requirements, of identifying the purpose of a system.